So this year I coached my daughter's t-ball team and I found out in the season that either you as the coach or the parents all pitch in and buy trophies. And I looked at them and they're pretty expensive and since I've got a CNC and a welder I thought I could make some cool trophies. So, so in this video I'm just building a bunch of trophies for the t-ball team. Hope you guys enjoy. Bending these guys up, and this is just a base for that trophy. But this is a little tip that might come in handy if you get a handbrake or a finger brake. So, if you're making angled pieces like less than a 90, you can't just use the regular fingers, otherwise, they're gonna hit on that edge. Sometimes you can get away with it by flipping it in backwards and just using your small dies down here. But then when you go to turn it, if it's too long, like I think this only does inch and five eighths height. So if it's got both sides coming up, it's gonna hit right on that. So you can't just flip it backwards. But one thing you can do is just bend it in steps. So you just bend it until it starts putting too much pressure right here on the ears, just a little bit, and just keep moving it around until you get them all bent up how you need it. I'm so in love with you. You got me down again. And now you have a tight fitting gap.
this is the final product. I'm going to be handing them out today, so hopefully the kids like them. Alright guys, that does it for today's video. Hopefully you liked it. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, all the kids love the trophies. I handed them out. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not. I'd really appreciate it. And if you're wanting to get into TIG welding aluminum or stainless or whatever, uh, go ahead and go to my website. I've got online classes where I do one-on-one -on -one TIG classes. So go check that out if you're interested. And also, uh, check out my affiliate links. They're all pretty much Amazon ones, but if you're interested in uh, the HTP TIG welder or MIG welders that I've got here, got links to those, all that stuff. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you next time.